Hello everybody out here on YouTube. It is I here for Beautiful Beauty. I'm um, going to be doing a product review. going to be sharing with you a sunblock that I have recently been using. Um, I am a little bit of addict. I have an addiction and addicted to sunblock. <laughs> well, you know. But anyways, um, I've just always been a very liberal user of it. Just I always was very consistent with wearing sunblock. I don't really know why exactly. Um, I just, I guess it's skincare influence at a young age. You guys know I got into skincare at about 10 or 11 years old. I guess just the whole influence of being into skincare in general. I started wearing sunblock very young, um, just as a kid. And, you know, when other kids were running around and never paid attention or give that a thought, if that makes sense. So I have become very accustomed to using sunblock. I don't know, why does it take 20 minutes in a roundabout way to explain that? I've used sunblock basically since I was a kid. Okay, <laughs> you know what I mean? I could have summed that up in two seconds. But what I was saying is, I think I have tried, you guys, probably the point of what I'm trying to say, rather. Every brand, every kind, I think that just every time a sunblock I see that I haven't used before, I buy it. So, but anyhow, I found a really good one here. Um, I like this one for outdoor usage. When I'm talking about outdoor usage, I'm talking about workouts, outdoors, things like that, um, use of outdoor gyms, uh, rollerblading, rollerballing, ball skateboarding, uh, riding my bike, anything like that. Walk on the beach, a jog on the beach, a run on the beach, um, you know, any type of workout, park workouts, whatever, you know, I try to change things up as often as I can. But the thing is, I love outdoor workouts. It's outdoor workouts, it's motivating. You get to enjoy the sunshine. You get to enjoy, you know, the, the air, the sky, the birds, the twittering, the ocean, the whatever. You know what I mean? You get to enjoy the outdoors. And I love doing that. Uh, that really spices up workouts because it gets so monotonous and humdrum indoors. The point is, I use this for outdoor workouts. <laughs> and it took me another 20 minutes in a roundabout way. But the thing is, when I sit down to make videos, in all honesty, I have so much to say, but I know nobody's got legit time to sit and listen all day long to, you know, situations or stories or anything like that. Um, okay, so... My cat's distracted me too. When I get distracted by him, I really go like on my stories. They really go off. You know what I mean? They go a long way. They go a long way, baby. Okay, so this is a copper tone. This is a brand that everybody's going to be familiar with. Um, I believe like the copper tone babies, the copper tone baby rather. Um, I believe that was like 1940s. But anyhow, I. I have a hard time remembering all that because I've done so many brand and product so much brand and product research but anyhow you guys know what i'm talking about the little copper tone baby i believe it's from the 1940s or she is or was i think she's still alive actually but anyhow okay so this is the <laughs> always got to go into a little bit of history on on the companies and stuff you guys but i am not i'm not affiliated in any way with these brands or companies just you guys know i did my dissertation and my thesis for my master's degree and it was a lot of product research in companies and brands. So this is the Capitone sunscreen. This is the Sport Face um, SPF 50. This is mineral based protection. Uh, stays on strong, won't run into eyes, into your eyes, which is good because it burns and stings like heck when it gets in your eyeballs. Ooh, ouch. Okay, it says no dyes, no PABA, no oxybenzone. This is water resistant, up to 80 minutes, uh, broad spectrum, SPF. This is 2.5 fluid ounces. Absolutely love this stuff. Like I said, an outdoor run, an outdoor jog, heavy workouts, outdoors, sweating. It works. And I am a huge fan of mineral sunblock. I love mineral sunblocks. Um, in all honesty, I know there's oxybenzone, there's avabenzone, there's, you know, whatever, uh, you know, zinc, uh, any all the other ingredients that there, are, that there is out there on the market, rather, for sunblock. I love mineral. I, I love the mineral sunblocks the best. Um, I remember a few years ago, the big deal was OMG, there's nanoparticles that are uh, reaching the skin and shattering into the skin. 
um, reaching your bloodstream, things like that. And nano, nanoparticles was a big deal uh, when the mineral sunblocks kind of burst onto the scene. But anyhow, they have kind of cleaned that game up quite a bit. That's not such a big scare anymore. And what I'm saying is I do like these mineral sunblocks. Let me show you real quick a swatchy watchy of it. Okay. And my cat is all over the place distracting me. But I love this stuff because the smell is a lot different to me. It has more of like rather than the traditional sunblock or sunblocky smell, it smells like more like a well, it does have a traditional sunblocky smell, yes, but it smells very uh, sweet almost to me. Oh, oh, sitting here smelling sunblock, just trying to describe. <laughs> what adjective can I do or say, rather, to describe it? I don't know. But anyhow, it does smell like sunblock, but it has a little bit of a sweeter smell. Okay, does that make sense? Um it has white cast to it, but not too bad at all. I just put it all over my face, my neck, my decollete, my decolletage, down my shoulders. I put it on my arms, my hands. Basically, uh, depending on my workout gear, what I'm wearing for the day, whatever is sun exposed, those are the areas I use it on. Absolutely love it. No burns, uh, no sunburns, obviously. Uh, no burning, no stinging, no irritation. I find this to be a real gentle formula. And, and that's why, another reason why, obviously, I like it, because if you put something on your skin, it burns, it stings, if it causes you, like, redness or irritation or something like that. Especially in a sunblock, you're not going to be uh, propensed to use it. You know what I mean? You're not going to be as propelled to use it as you would uh, something that's non-irritating. So I like this formulation. It's non-irritating. It's long-lasting. I do apply my sunblock every 60 minutes, every hour upon the hour, no matter what it says. If it says 80 minutes, I don't do it. I do it 60 minutes, one hour, the next hour, the next hour, so forth. That's how I apply my sunblock because honestly, if I were to wait past the hour mark, it's going to be ineffective. It's not going to work. So I don't mind slathering this all on, going for a run, going rollerblading, going biking, going hiking, you know, beach, ocean, whatever, which is what I've been doing lately. I am so, so, so busy lately, but I have been just like forcing that time to get in those workouts, you know what I mean? And to do outdoor workouts. So I love this stuff, I really like it. And the white cast does die down, it does fade down. So it doesn't really leave you too much of a Casper the Ghost per se, you know? I know that's always been an issue with me with sunblock because I do use large amounts of it. So, you know, I don't know. I don't mind appearing that way, but you know, I mean, if I'm gonna go on like a photo shoot or something like that, or I have a modeling contract, I'm going to keep it really low key on the sunblock. You know, I know that's bad for my skin, unfortunately, but flashback cameras, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, I love you. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye, gorgeous.